Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. It is the 3rd of May. 102 days sober for me. And uh, <laughs> there was a bit of a family gathering here last night. And uh, you could hear, I could hear out of the corner of my, I'm just uh, sitting here putting my feet in the uh, grass. I don't know. It's my version of grounding. If I'm not doing it right, you can let me know. Uh, but they were, they, there were so many young kids, boys and girls, and and uh, I kept hearing, "Go ask Teal Frank. Go ask Teal Frank." <laughs> or they call me Pancho. Anyway, so uh, you know, I'll go inside and sit down so I can uh, use the uh, stand. But they were him hawing around the girls trying to be respectful because they wanted to ask some questions. Not call them girls, but uh, some of them probably from ages uh, 12 to, I think the oldest one was 22. Yeah, and uh, they were just asking. And, all right, anyways, the title of this is... Uh, why guys enjoy being alone <laughs> and uh, that was pretty much uh, what the question was and I think they were shocked that women usually in any given day speak twice as many at least twice as many words as a guy does and I told them that most men and yes I was speaking for most men whether I'm right or not doesn't <laughs> <laughs> that that does that doesn't matter now. But anyways, <clears throat> now move over so we can see the bridge, or the or the what do you call that thing that goes out into a lake? Uh, a plank? No, that's not a plank. It's a uh, boardwalk. Man, we've done there. So anyways, um, battling the allergies, uh, I told them uh, guys really value peace and quiet. <laughs> And I said that those two, those two things we like don't really correlate with uh, being around women. And they were like, oh, blah, blah, blah. and uh, the guys just laughed. The guys were like, because uh, they're pretty. The I like the fact that uh, I I've never in my life before this been around a big family, uh, never. And um, sometimes it's like a wave hit me and like. Boof. They come in and everybody's talking at the same time. Anyway, but I believe that to be true. And I think uh, back in the day they used to be called uh, hermits and that. But there were guys that already had it figured out. And um, there are some very good, fun things when the family comes. And there's some traditions with the uh, uh, fam. If you if you if you've ever been around a tradition traditional Mexican family. They have uh, certain protocols where they go around and say hello to everybody. And then before they leave, they go and say goodbye to everybody. And then you have your first goodbye in the house. And then you have your second goodbye right by the door or just outside. And then your third goodbye, which is finally the real goodbye, is where everybody piles into their cars. And then they come back. Hey, or th that's your third goodbye. I, that's what I call it. And they just, they just, think, it's, they just think it's so weird because I'll go like, bye. Going home, bye. <laughs> Man, I had a great time. Thanks, bye. <laughs> it's just like... <clears throat> but anyways, I think that is... Uh, I think that's a fairly accurate statement that men value peace. Um, I value my peace. I can't tell you. I, I love sending my wife off to... <sighs> it's a cat. I love sending my wife off to work. Go, go, baby, go. <laughs> And anyways, but I just thought that I'd share that with you guys. It's 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 not anything dramatic. There's nothing going on here today. It's Friday. I believe uh, Sunday will be Cinco de Mayo. Uh, I got a couple of chess games scheduled for later in the day. Uh, go work on the pool before the sun comes up and the day's a wrap for me. <laughs> you guys stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, take care of yourselves. I hope. If you follow your plans, you get to a point to where you can control your own time and enjoy the things, do the things that you want to do.
not have to be somewhere. Okay? Michael Fortin, Jeeves Journal, West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.